Hey, what's going on? Back with another video, and today we're going to be modifying the Elegy RH-7. You've never heard of it because it's not in the game, but it is, of course, meant to be an R-34 Skyline. Somebody that has um, more of a keen eye could probably say, no, 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 look, there's a lot of R-33 mixed in there. But I'm just going to say, you know, this is meant to be the GTA lore version, the Grand Theft Auto Universe version of the uh, R34 Skyline. One can only assume there's going to be legions of modifying options. So let's just hop in here and get it modified. Wow, that's weird. Usually the, uh, the engine goes first. So there is our engine. Beautifully detailed. And the thing is as well is that it's not overly uh, detailed. I, I know that sounds like a weird thing to say, but sometimes uh, the car is so intricate that it does not fit in the GTA universe because the game is showing its age, you know? So um, <laughs> when, it, when it's overly detailed, it's like a real car in a cartoon world. I'm going to go with... Uh, can we do carbon? See, I wish the carbon was glossy. I'm going to actually do a polished engine cover the fittings what do we have here the different braces sticker bomb no thank you um maybe if it was meant to be like a beater or something i want to do everything uh we will do the extreme billet there you go. strut brace the interior this should be fun probably tons of different options uh carbon tuner seats i don't know I'm going to do the carbon sports seats. We'll do with what kind of steering wheel here. I actually kind of like that. The Sprint Featherweight, because it's uh, the same color as the car. Hopefully we'll be able to modify that. The trim. What am I looking at here for trim? Do I have to go outside? Uh, maybe in the front? I don't know. We're going to come back to that. And, uh, I assume I'll have to open up the hood in order to actually see these things. So let's go back. Let's see. Do I have, uh, the big turbo? Yeah, okay. So I guess that's what we added. Potentially. That giant turbo there. Now, the bumpers. Okay, this is gonna be fun. The car looks beautiful. As it is. I, I don't really think it needs a lot. I need to learn a new word, uh, for beautiful. Stunning, exquisite, uh, <laughs> fire, yo, uh, bruh, this straight fire. What do we want to have? I actually kind of like that. It's just an extended lip. It's not a lot. Never was a fan of the the uh, canards or dive planes. Just my opinion. That's so funny that they always have that on most of these JDM body kits. It's that, uh, it's a very smooth type of sloping front bumper. I will go with the sport bumper. The skirts, what type do we have here? We'll just do the X-Flow skirts. Now, the drift bumper. No thank you. How about that? The garage alien styling bumper with carbon. It's just slightly extended, nothing crazy. We'll come back to the wheels. Uh, we'll do this brakes, exhaust, though, what kind of exhaust can we have? This car doesn't need anything funny, but the race exhaust I do like. A car that you can fit one of these kind of enormous mufflers on, like the actual physical part of it, um, I kind of like it. I feel like you should take advantage of it just to get away with it. The fenders, uh, vented fenders, yeah, there's no problem with that. The grill, okay. Probably just, what, like the exposed intercooler? I'll just go with that. There you go. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna keep... No, we can we can go without it. That's not a big deal. The hood. This car has such a big front end that um, the hood is great to, to modify. Because, you know, it looks good. It looks very, uh, kind of like robust. Get out of my way. I love it. I'm actually gonna go with a carbon fiber hood. I think it fits this car really really well yeah we'll do that the x-flow carbon hood man the creator of this mod did such an incredible job there's just so much to modify now the wing this will be fun can we do the type that kind of arch over i'm gonna do the stock wing just uh with the carbon on it 
there's no big deal the suspension we will lower it the transmission what type of trunk do we want okay the trunk is just in regards to the badging but I'm gonna keep it the way it is it doesn't really need much yes I am in a hurry no not really uh, the respray this this should be fun man it does look good in these darker colors but if you actually had an r34 in the united states you know you take it well gtr you take it in virtually any color they give you of course you know the most coveted is probably going to be bayside blue or that type of uh midnight purple but i will go with maybe yeah i'm gonna go with the midnight purple unfortunately i like the wheels the way they are but let's see what we uh, can get for street High-end carbon wheels would probably look good, but how about uh, sport? Those aren't terrible. S racer. Now, can we have them in black? Now we can leave them the way they are. So yeah, I actually quite like this modification. I don't think that it's uh, necessarily over the top, but it's certainly not understating the beauty of the car. Okay, so here it is, the finished product of the LG RH7. I had to add a pearlescent after the fact because um, the paint was just a little too dull. And I thought there's no way this car is uh, naturally this kind of dull looking, the paint. So the pearlescent with the silver, as you can see, brought it to life. I think it's beautiful. You know, if I could afford one of these cars when they come into the United States in 2024, um, they're probably going to be like a quarter of a million dollars, but you know, if I ever could afford one, this is probably the color I'd pick. Though I know people do have these actual midnight purple colors, uh, it's a very special collector's edition, and you can get them in here for show only. And you can check online them selling for like $120,000 a couple of years ago. Now they're worth way more than that. Let's do a 0 to 60 and let's see what top speed we can hit. Three. Two, one, go. Yeah, it's about on par for a Grand Theft Auto sports car. I know they didn't try to tune it to be anything outrageous, but I wish we had a... One more higher gear. It's definitely quick. It's absolutely quick enough to be considered fast. It's not ridiculous speed either. <laughs> We're kind of bleeding speed now, which is a shame. I always look at cars and imagine what they'd look like in convertible or with a target top. And I have to be honest with you, for as beautiful, as beautiful as this car is, I think a target top would look hideous. It just wouldn't fit the lines of the car. Yeah. Pretty good handling. It's, you know, again, it's on par for what you would expect a Grand Theft Auto sports car to handle like. The exhaust sounds amazing as well as the um, the backfires. Listen to that. Oh man. The turbo. Man oh man. It looks good. The, uh, the underglow. I like it. Definitely fits in with a movie you'd see in the early 2000s, you know. That's the way I want to modify my car. It's like, do you want to do anything to the engine? No, 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 I just want to put stickers on it. Really? Oh, and a bigger wing, of course. What am I... What do I not care about? Downforce or something? I would take this over absolutely any exotic. And I know the whole idea is to tune them to a thousand horsepower, but um, no, I wouldn't want that. I'd want a very reliable type of stock horsepower GTR, whatever they came with. I forget how much horsepower they came with. I think it was like the gen gentleman's agreement is what they called it, but um, the horsepower was always understated. Whoa, but yeah, um, <clears throat> when people tune them to such high levels, I guess it kind of lends itself to unreliability. But I would take a slower GTR that's more reliable, that I could drive every day, than something that, uh, <laughs> like a drag car. You need to rebuild the engine, engine every time, uh, 
every time you go for a drive. I wonder how the Grand Theft Auto fan base, you know, online would react to this car, having it come into GTA Online. Because you have so many beautiful cars that Rockstar's given us, and of course there are probably tons more in the pipeline, but I wonder if they'd be like, nah, we really don't. <laughs> can, we, can we just have GTA 6 now? You know, we're, uh, we're kind of over new vehicles, I don't know. I haven't played GTA Online in a long, long time. Yeah, what an awesome back road. This is like a total canyon car that probably anybody would want to drive in. Anyway, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this video of the Elegy RH7. Wow, look at you showing me up in your Ferrari. Coming out of the country club, thinking you're better than everybody. Hold on. Wish I could have hit him, but I couldn't. And he's just in a pickup truck. He's allowed to go. He's not trying to be better than me. But yeah, here it is. Maybe real fast uh, before I end this, I'll pop the hood for you. So you can see what it looks like. Maybe even roll the windows down. But here's the hood. Looks great. The polished, to me, was the way to go. The trunk. Do we have a lot of trunk space? Yeah, that's actually pretty good. It's a, it's a rather practical car. There it is. That nice three-pedal vehicle. Let's close all the doors up, and that's about it. Well, anyway, I'm going to get back in and keep driving, and I will see you next time.